Hey guys, Secrets in here. Hope you're doing well. Today I wanted to share my thoughts on the newly announced Laker. Or Laker? Laker? I'm not sure how it's pronounced exactly. I think I'll go with Laker. That seems to be how it's spelt. Before I get started, I just wanted to remind you guys to hit that like button if you enjoyed my content and consider subscribing to be kept up to date with future content. Thank you. So let's have a quick look at her preview video. So, stats-wise, she shares the same stats as a handful of ranges we already have, um, including Briarwitch's area, Canna, Faithless Lydica, and Seaside Bologna. So the speed is, is usable, obviously she's not the fastest unit in the game, and the rest of her stats are pretty well-rounded, um, which could give her a couple of build options. As you can see, the imprint release and concentrations both effectiveness. She'd probably want the effectiveness for herself based on how her kit is, but um, let's uh, have a quick run over her skills and see how, how she is. So her skill three, um, it's an AOE attack with 100% chance to decrease speed on the whole enemy team and a 75% chance to sleep them before granting immunity to all allies. So the main issue really with this is if you want her to be turn one, she doesn't strip, and the debuffs really just aren't that strong on this skill. Decreased speed is not a big deal um, to most of the meta, really, as quite a lot of units are counter-based anyway, so decreased speed does not stop them countering or doing what they want to do when they counter. And also sleep is not that great, it's broken by taking any damage, so the debuff is gone when they take any extra damage. The immunity is pretty nice for the team, um, but at, like I say, at this speed, she might find it hard to take first turn, and you really want that immunity up before anybody else moves on the enemy team anyway. Um, so I think another big issue with this skill is because it's actually attack-based, she could literally just get hit by any, any counter and die if you don't build it with enough health, defense, to, to live it, but it's not the best of skills, but let's move on to a skill two and see what else she offers, see if I can find it, so let's just take a quick look at the animation while we're here, animation looks great, model looks great in general to be fair, so this is a skill two, um, so the skill 2 at Max Mola has a 100% chance to target the enemy and then it increases the attack of an ally except for herself with the highest attack, decreases that unit's skill cooldown, so not her skill cooldown, the unit she uh, gives the increased attack to, and then triggers a dual attack. So remembering she is actually Earth Element, she is strong into both Violet and Rem, who can't counter her portion of this skill and the target debuff increases damage dealt on the enemy and reduces evasion chance by 15% so that's also good into violet so are we starting to smell another violet counter here anyway this skill has a three turn cooldown so it could it could be quite a good utility pick in pvp maybe building it with speed and leading off with this skill instead of the s3 this skill also does proc her artifact, so this further increases her support potential. But let's check out her S1 and see what the last part of her kit does. So her S1, it also has a decent amount of utility in it. Single target attack with a 15% CR push for herself and a random ally. So heroes with a good utility like this on skill 1 usually a good contender to be built on counter. I'm not entirely sure if that's the best way to use her, but it might definitely be an option. Also, having allies that trigger dual attacks that she can jump in on can be really good with her, as she'll then be pushing herself and another unit 15% every time she attacks with the S1. Um, so that could 
also means she pairs quite well with another unit that's coming soon in the name of Conqueror Lilius, as her S1 does trigger a dual attack and Lilius does strip on her S3, which would allow Lyca to hit with her S3 if she so wants to. Let's check her artifact out, I think that's coming up next. So after using a non-attack skill grants Barry equivalent to 20% of the caster's max health to all allies for two turns. This effect can only be activated once every three turns and can only apply to one hero within a team. So it's definitely usable on her. If you build a bulky, she could be putting quite a thick shield on the whole team. As I said, she shares the stat line with SSB and remember how thick she used to be able to be built. But anyway, now we've had a look through her skills and artifact, I'm going to throw around some gear on my SSB and see if we can give you all a glimpse of how I think she might be able to be built. So this could be the first kind of build you could aim for. Your gear might be a lot better than mine, but this is just what I've got. So I aimed for a lot of speed, effectiveness, and then the rest of it into health and defense so if you wanted to run it on her own artifact you'd be looking at about a 3k shield here 3000 roughly for every every ally um, just under and obviously the the speed is not enough for turn one i don't think but if you were to run with someone like conquer lilius who who you would make go first she could pop her s3 and her s2 and then Lyca could follow up with either her S3 or S2, so that's just one option. So this was what I pieced together for building her as, as counter. It is literally just my Belion's entire gear set, so it's got a decent amount of health, a little bit of defense, some speed, um, nearly nearly quick capped. You probably want to make that 20% up just for the extra damage when she does counter. But the idea from this is that she'd be getting the 15% CR push for herself and an ally on every counter. And hopefully there's enough bulk there for her to survive some attacks. Maybe you would run her with a Soul Weaver for a little bit more sustain in there as well. But that's just an idea. Obviously, like I say, your, your guys' gear is probably a lot better than mine. Uh, but it, it's just a an idea to put out there so those builds were just some concept ideas it might turn out that she's not built anything like that and I'm completely wrong and I have no idea what I'm talking about but we will find out uh, in terms of do I think she's worth pulling after the year we've had with limited units and the state of most people's accounts right now in terms of what sky, sky stones and bookmarks you've got left a lot of people might find it difficult to convince themselves to pull for her. Um, I, I, I'm not sure if she's worth it. She's not limited. So that's always one thing that sways me against pulling. Because you could just get her from a, a five-star ticket or a, even a daily a daily summon. But it will be worth seeing how she pairs up with some of, of the other units we've got. And maybe how she pairs with Lilius. She could be quite good with Lilius. But I'll leave you with that. I think she's... She's strong on paper, but it, time will tell if her kit is worth pulling for and investing in because she does need fairly high molar investment to make her work. Both her S, S2 and S3 and S1 really will need max molar to get the most out of her kit. And she's not a, a big damage dealer. She's more of a support utility hero. So hopefully you've enjoyed this video. I enjoyed making it. I like speculating over new units and how I think they will perform in the meta but i would like to thank you for watching and please don't forget to like and subscribe so secret sinner out